Live at four, it's offer review, and we were kind of expecting Red Guardian tonight because Yelena left the the Red Stars, and it looks like they've changed the icon on Facebook and Twitter on the Marvel Strike Force official uh, accounts with Red Guardian. So Red Guardian could be tomorrow, it could be the next day. Uh, we'll see, but soon. I uh, just want to give a shout out to Na, who made this post on Reddit, talks about uh, kind of the craziness of uh, not charging for, um, not allowing us to use the, the the heels inside of the Greek raids and how it doesn't really make sense for them financially. And I personally believe, like when I looked at the, the Defender team and how Punisher's leaving the Defender team, and I looked at the Wakandas and how uh, Killmonger might be leaving the defend the the Wakanda team to go to skill military. It's like they haven't sold us the characters. <laughs> they haven't sold us the characters yet to finish some of these difficulty three Greek raids, right? I'm just saying. Uh, so let's go look at the offers tonight. And boy, um, Dad Bros. Okay, so this is for Longshot and. Shatterstar. I do think that they are better. Uh, they they feel like they're going to be symbiotes 2.0. And so I just want to say these are the orbs right here that average 9 per orb. Minimum 6, maximum 180. Typically we assign them new character releases like this a value of about $3 a piece. So this is a total of 5 orbs. So there's $15 in value. Now I have both of these guys smack in the middle in five yellow star territory. So I'm just going to leave them alone. Uh, I'm happy with them at five stars. Um, I, I don't know. I'm just going to leave it alone. But don't sleep on these guys. These guys are quite good. They're kits, you know, because the way their passives work with crits, you know, one of them giving turn meter, the other one giving uh, barrier. Very symbiote feeling. And what is it going to, what is this X Factor team going to look like? with three more X-Factor people. You know, just like, remember we had symbiotes when it was just symbiote Spider-Man and Carnage? Well, Venom too, but anyways, you know what I mean. And then we got Scream and Anti-Venom, we're like, woof. Maybe, maybe. Don't sleep on these guys, these guys are good. Uh, I know some people are gonna take them into uh, DD4. Let's go. Advanced Bio Gear offer. So this is a big downgrade. Yesterday, I believe there was a $10 offer for purple gear. That was 75, 75, 75. And I was like, hey man, if you need two out of these three, this is a buy. So I personally am not in the market for purple gear. And if you are in the market for purple gear, my suggestion is to not buy purple gear unless you can get it for under 10 cents a piece. So for me, uh, the only way that I would recommend for someone else to buy this, if you clicked on all three of these pieces and you needed all three of these pieces, unfortunately, I found that I typically don't need this piece. Look at that, 334. Well, it's just clipped right there. I typically don't need this last piece right here. Uh, I may need these two, but I don't need that one. So that would only be 80 pieces for 10 bucks. That doesn't add up to my valuations. And I say this is this is a D plus C minus offer. This is not fantastic. Not not really excited about this. And I think they have several of these, and we're going to scroll past all of them. Same thing, Mystic. Same suggestion. Skill, same suggestion. Okay, Red Room Orb Offer. Yes, I'm a dirty blitzer now. The Cold Blitz started right now. The Cold Blitz is running. Is not That's not a part of the Scream Time event, but they extended uh, the Red Star and the Premium Orb Blitz for a little bit longer because it got delayed yesterday by almost an hour, 45 minutes or so. So people can get an extra rotation in there and they can get the Scream Time, and that's fine. But I've already went into the Cold Blitz. I think I already at 2.2 million this, this, and what I'm, what I'm trying to say is, I don't see the point in me personally buying this because I'm a dirty blitzer now. And Scopely, if you're listening, it's not fair right now. People with large collection powers are having a significant advantage uh, on this new sim blitz format because you know i'm setting my alarm you're know, like right now at global reset which is four o'clock my time i try to do four rotations before i go to sleep and then i wake up in the morning and i do four more rotations through the course of the day setting a timer every two hours and so i'm maxing out my rotations eight rotations a day and you know i've i've been placing in the top 100 uh and you know people in chat are saying wow you have 2.2 million on your first rotation 
How can I compete with you? Well, you, that's the that's I don't like it. I mean, it's not fair. I, I feel like that we should be put into like like for like let's say make make shards for every hundred days played. You know, like you are in the you've played. 1,000 to 900 days and you're in a grouping and so on and so on. So I'm put people into groupings of like every 100 days played or something. Uh, give everybody a chance. Uh, and then, you know, when you when when you go into the next 100 days plays, you move up into the next shard or something. I, I just don't like that's my only complaint about the sim blitz. Anyways, the reason why I'm going on this tangent is because what's the point of this? If I'm in a blitz, what do I need this for? Now, I do want to talk about Red Guardian for a second. Red guard, you know, I targeted her for four reds. I'm targeting red guard, red guardian for five reds. And I'm sitting on like seven elite fives or something crazy, which those orbs have like a 20% chance of popping a six or higher, right? Six or seven, right? So, it's, and those are like uh, scopal necks pricing. Those are like 35 bucks a piece. I don't know, but five red, red guardian. And here's why pre taunt tanks. Like Drax, it's really the only one we have in this game right now is Drax. Red Guardian is going to be a better version than Drax. In the other Hero Collector game, Galaxy of Heroes, pre-taunting tanks were very important. Very, very, very important. So I'm I'm hyped about Red Guardian. This is speculation, but I'm targeting him for five reds. Five reds. I'm saving my red stars for him. I don't know if I'll pop my six reds. I got two elite sixes. I might save that for a legendary character. But it is what it is. Anyways, not buying this because she's going to have two blitzes. Cold Blitz is running right now. Thursday is going to be the first Yelena Blitz. And then there are two, a week later, there's going to be another one. And uh, I would be in the market for this orb right here after the two Blitz rotations. I'm not looking into it now. At best, these orbs are worth three bucks a piece. Let's move on. Let's move on. Holy moly, $35 for 50 shards. Get out of here. What a scam. Boy, this is, okay, For first of all, this is worth about two bucks. This is still worth about two bucks. So I do want to give them a little bit of credit. Two bucks, two bucks. Trash, 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 trash. So $31 for 50. Okay, now. Emma event is happening January. So somewhere, this is the blog post. So there's an Emma event, Emma gold milestone event starting sometime in January, no official word. We're not getting a blog post on Friday, but we're getting the first blog post of the year on the 15th. And maybe we'll know about when this Emma milestone, gold milestone event is going to start. That being said, the last Emma milestone event had available over the course of the event, which I think was four weeks long. I don't remember. I'm pulling the numbers out of my air, but I'm pretty sure these numbers are accurate. Uh, 192 total available Emma shards over the course of the event and if you were able to spend 69 million gold which is what almost 2 million a day I think it was 1.8 million a day something like that I don't know anyways they always change the terms of the event so it doesn't matter what numbers I spit out right now because they always change them they even said somewhere in here that they're going to change it from T4s to SBCs so yeah 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 I need I need I need Emma I've got Emma at uh, what two thirty-five out of three hundred. So man, I need a sixty-five Emmas to finish her up at seven stars. She is top five, maybe top three, top five character for sure. Depends on the game mode, but she is a she's an amazing character. She's one of the best characters in the game easily right now. She is probably one of the more legendary of all legendaries, right? She's better than more than fifty percent of legendaries easily. She's just amazing. Anyways, that being said, I don't know if there's a reason to buy this. If you because there is going to be an Emma event coming up soon, so I'm not touching this, of course. No way, and that's so expensive 35 bucks. Get out of here! Hail Hydra offer. No, 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 we're not gonna buy this. Uh, Red, Red, uh, Red Skull is currently available in one, I believe, a Doom node. He's hard node farmable, and uh, so for me, there's no reason to spend that. Uh, if you have access to the Doom Node, if not, and you want to lock him, I suppose that's fine. But, you know, I don't think this is fantastic. Let's move on. Daily Gold. Okay, I, I'm protesting this offer because this used to be... Uh, anytime they had a Daily Gold calendar offer, it was 1 million gold for 5 bucks. And somewhere along the way, they changed it to 500,000. So I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. 
just how to protest because it used to, if we're going to get a calendar offer, it should be a value because we have to wait for it. And this is not a value. Not buying it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Massive mutant orb. Okay, so this is a character orb. I'm guessing that this is uh, the uh, orb that averages nine, minimum six, maximum 180. Uh, I, a buck for this orb if you need blob. Sure, that's worth it. Uh, typically, uh, these orbs, you know, two, three bucks a piece, so a buck is fine. Let's move on. Uh, gladiator offer. Okay, so this is um, Shatterstar. Oof. 50 character shards for 30 bucks. I think you guys know how I feel about these offers, but mostly my problem with these offers is why do they bother with these insulting amounts of gear? At least give us like 50, 50, 50, uh, but five is nothing. Five is, is it's the only reason why they put this gear here is so that when you're looking for that gear, you see this offer. It's like additional ad space, but this is just like an insulting amount. There's a lot of the things that they do that are kind of insulting in my opinion. The number of pop-ups, insulting. Five of this garbage, insulting. Saying something's 90% off, insulting. I just don't like that. Why do they insult the player base like that? Don't like it. Let's move on. Purple gear, orb, calendar. I do like this offer. I'm personally not in the market for uh, gold. Or I'm not buying any purple gear. I'm down with purple gear. But if you need purple gear, I really like these. Uh, so this gives you 70,000 gear orbs. The reason why I like this this offer is because then if you need catalysts, you can just get catalysts. If you need skill, you can just get the skill. If you need bio, you can just get the bio. I very much like these. Uh, it's very handy when you're upgrading a character and you need a random bio piece. You can pop a couple of these orbs and get what you're looking for without having to farm them individually or buy them or whatever. I, I very much like this offer. Anyways. Mimic Master offer, again, he is Taskmaster, is currently farmable, I believe, in a Doom node. Uh, that being said, I'm not looking to purchase this. He doesn't help you get a legendary character. Yes, he's a very good character, but uh, he doesn't help you unlock anything else or anything. So I'm moving on. Uh, silver promotion credit offer. This is what I call fair pricing. I'm not going to buy this, but fair pricing on silver credits. So uh, at times they sell 50 silver promotion credits for $15, which this is the equivalent of, right? You know, 10 for three bucks, you multiply that out by five, you get that $15 for 50 silver promotion credits, which I believe is their C plus pricing, if you will. That's their average pricing. Some people just scoop this up no matter what. Um, where I don't like it is when I try selling 50 silver promotion credits for like 30 bucks. And typically when these offers are under that 50 silver promotion credits, for $15 pricing, I pull the trigger for myself, but I'm not gonna do this. I'm actually good on silver promotion credits for now. I'm gonna pass on this. Let's move on. Premium ISO 8 offer. Again, my thoughts on the whole ISO 8 is that currently the pricing on all of this is uh, still pretty high. They're starting to come down. They had a, a slight discount on IONS on that calendar offer last week. Uh, I'm more in the market for IONS. IONS is the real uh, bottleneck in the ISO 8 system. Boy, it gets really expensive when you try to go from four to five per each little item. Like you take your health up from 8% to 10%, 50,000 ions. So that being said, yes, I, I've I've bought this before, but this is just outrageous pricing. I wish it was, uh, and I don't know why they keep, you know, it's only a 15% discount. So you know, it can't be that good. I don't like this. I wish they just had nothing to do with this 15%, 90%. Or, you know, it, you know, save over or save up to or more. I mean, well, they could really get really legalistic. Let's say save oh, save up to 15% or more. I had a boss that used to do that. It was, she was like, yeah, you can't. It, the number doesn't even matter when you say it like that. Uh, you're going to, uh, people are going to pick this apart if you keep playing this game. I don't like it. Let's move on. Don't like it. Heroic deal. I suppose this is fine if you're pushing for level 80. This was also better last week uh, when we had the screen time event running. So this is not, I'm not in the market for this. I was uh, more favorable to this last week. Premium orb pack. This is a very bad offer that pops up in the store all the time. Premium orbs I value at $1 a piece. And then these are kingpin orbs, which I also value at $1 a piece. So that is a total of 14 orbs. $14 does not add up to $25. Let's move on. Gold orbs. Gold orbs I value at $2 a piece. 
That's eight bucks, and that's worth maybe another two bucks. Not even close to twenty dollars. Let's move on. Orb draft. I buy there are two orb drafts that I, I I look at, and I do not buy the one with ability orb because I don't like them. I buy the one that has training orbs, training materials right there. So uh, this is the ones that have ability orbs. Ability orbs have no value to me, so I'm not buying this one. Uh, but I will buy the one that has training materials in that slot. Power core deal. Technically, this is a reasonable offer. If you need training materials, go ahead and buy it. I personally would be a fan of this offer if it gave 225 power cores. Then I'd at least be getting the correct amount of power cores for three bucks and free training materials. But that's not really how it's set up. But still, reasonable offer if you need training materials. Let's move on. Get out of my face, pack of shame. We're done. Sim Blitz ended the necessity for me to personally buy this because now I have an abundance of Blitz currency and I can get it done. Before I always ran a deficit because I was a milestone Blitzer before. Now I'm blitzing my mind out, getting a lot of currency. Let's move on. Super savings. Rest of these are not a good deal. Now we, I want to go over to the alt account, my um, free to play account because there definitely was a Captain America Black Widow offer I want to talk about. And uh, it's interesting to me because I believe that they are looking at what's going on in DD4. So some people have used Captain America and Black Widow in DD4, and uh, they're able to one-shot the, the global nodes. I believe, you know, with Ghost and Mr. Sinister and these two, you can get through uh, the first six nodes of DD4 quite easily. My only objection with that strategy is that I would rather use the bio for Captain America towards symbiotes and i would rather use this skill in black widow for zemo or proxima or something i just uh, i th these are okay there's nothing wrong with this and, and i will say that avengers wave one avengers are a very good early game team i see a lot of them with thor on defense and alliance war is definitely not like a team you just like walk over it's a good team it, it, it's definitely like uh a step down from top tier though you know when i think of top tier war teams you know i'm thinking of black order and emma Rodders. i mean it's definitely a step down from that but it's still very good uh i i, I don't know maybe it's because uh, i had like a thing for black widow for such a long time and she fell off and i still just don't really care for her that much anymore uh but anyways i, I don't know that i would buy this though i mean this is worth two bucks but say you know 100 character shards for i don't know i feel like this offer should be like five bucks or 10 bucks but if you want to do it go for it I, I i don't see any reason to say you know they're not terrible right you know what i mean but i don't know i just think you can get them elsewhere let's move on and see if there's any other offers on this account that did not show up on my main account that's oh that one right there hand orb <laughs> no has got his hands up and said don't buy me don't buy stop don't buy this offer oh um Quite quickly, yes, Nobu and Hand Assassin at six gold stars can help you unlock uh, Phoenix, Legendary Phoenix, because Legendary Phoenix requires villain, mystic controllers, and uh, the hand faction is used in a monthly event, the relic event. Otherwise, they're complete garbage. They're complete trash. This is a, one of the worst teams in the game, in my opinion. And... Uh, Maybe they'll get a rework someday, but I don't know. I'm not buying this. I'm not telling anybody to buy this. All right, let's keep going. I think we're done with offer review today. I don't think we have any other offers that are different on this account. Um, really excited about Red Guardian. Man, I, I can't wait to open Red Guardian. Uh, it should be a, a very interesting orb opening of vetting. I think I'm going to open up at least seven Elite Fives. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comments section. And as always, thanks for watching. And keep, I don't remember.